Hey, I'm Brent, you're watching Seam Culture. Welcome or welcome back for our longtime viewers. Today we're gonna to be talking about the science of water. Now, water is very important to creating steam. So most of you probably know that, but for those of you that don't, let me walk you through exactly why this happens. I have this great cutaway here of a boiler and it's a very simple process. So we have a fire that comes out down here, comes down here, boom, hits this back wall, goes into these tubes, complete with sound effects. So you see that tube's got a hole in it. Well, that fire goes down here. Imagine that all around this is just like a big old bathtub full of water. And what's happening is the heat that's going in here is transferring through this metal onto the water, which is boiling and then making steam. So here's the problem and why we're talking about water. When water's got a bunch of stuff in it that really doesn't act very well in a boiler, especially when you heat it up and it forms calcium. Well, what's calcium look like? large blocks like this. You don't see that in the water, do you? But when you apply heat, this is what happens. Unfortunately, that calcium forms on the outside of this tube, which means that the heat doesn't transfer very well to the water and it makes it very, very dangerous. Well, in history, people have known about the impurities of water and they've had to deal with it. Now we have this fancy schmancy deaerator that we use here from industrial steam in our, in our boiler U lab. But thousands of years ago, like in 2000 BC, the ancient uh, Greeks, learned that you could boil water and the heat would remove some of the impurities of it for health reasons. Then the ancient Egyptians around 1600 BC, well, they learned how to coagulate, which means in water when you have little microscopic solids and you figure out how to bond them together to make one bigger solid so you can kind of scoop it at it there, they added something called alum, which is actually still used today. Progressing all the way to like in the 60s and 70s, the invention of chelates and polymer programs leading up to today where you have these solid little blocks, aren't these cool? Kind of diluted with water, all run by this computer, headed over to the boiler to make sure that we don't get solids in the boiler and we have a nice, safe, highly efficient boiler operation. So I wanted to introduce you to water treatment. Now we'll put some links down below and you can go Google industrial water treatment history if you want to totally nerd out on the stuff. Before you nerd out, nerd out on our stuff. It's right here on our website each and every week. Steam Culture Bowling Point, we'll have some for you every week. Come join us. Thanks for joining me this week. See you next Friday.